Hello everybody, and welcome back to European War 4. It, you, you hear that in the background? Yeah, I actually got some music this time. Um, I had to restart the game about six times in order to get the music, but I have it. So yeah, um, I'm going to be honest, I've had a pretty shitty day, and I feel like doing this video will help out a bit, because I didn't do- ah. <laughs> I was about to say I enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing this Let's Play. So yeah, hopefully this will make my day just a little bit better. And I think what would really make my day is capturing Frankfurt. That would really make me happy today. So let's do that. Uh, that cavalry's taking a good amount of damage, though. I'm sorry if I'm talking a tad bit weird right now. Um, I actually end up... Whoa, turn that down a little bit. <clears throat> um, I bet... Oh my god, I can't talk. See? Um, I bit the inside of my mouth, and... I thought it was gonna go away after a couple of hours. Six hours later, it still feels incredibly painful. So I'm sorry if I'm not talking right. There we are. Man, look at all those generals heading into um, Britain. It's a hell of a lot. Alright, yeah, we need to get up this cannon right here, because that cavalry, in a head-on battle, it isn't going to win against that, um, that guard. <clears throat> yeah, I might not talk as much this episode just because of... What happened? So yeah, I... Oh god, I can't talk. <laughs> um, I just want to say, thank you all so much for the support on part one of this Let's Play. Um, I, I expected it to get a lot of hate, because people wanted to see the World War One mod, you know. You know how people are. I expected to see a ton of hate, but only one dislike, which is... Well... I would consider it a tradition on this channel to have a, one dislike on every video. It's just become a thing right now. So yeah, I just got the one dislike. So, I want to say thank you all. Because, <clears throat> like I said before, I thought that you all were going to hate this. Oh, I almost dropped my phone there. There we are. I think almost every place is fully upgraded. Yeah, except yeah, except that city um, and that stable. I think that everything is fully upgraded. Hmm. Yeah, let's just send some militia over there. And boom. We have officially taken like half of Denmark. Which isn't saying much because Denmark is a tiny country. But it's still good. <clears throat> um, sorry, I should have taken a drink before I started this episode. Man, it's been so... I would say it's been so long since I heard that soundtrack, but it definitely is nostalgic. It reminds me back, like, last year when I would do terrible European war videos. I I already know the jokes are incoming. Oh, your videos are still terrible. But they were really bad back then. And there we are.
Uh, oh, that general's almost dead. Let's go and finish the job there. Oh, this... Ah, I almost said guard. Those grenaders will take care of it. Um, let's help out this Swedish unit, because I want them to take Copenhagen. That would save me a hell of a lot of trouble. So I wasn't... Alright. I need to get a couple of things out of the way. First of all, I know now that the country below me, um, this one right here, is Saxony, alright? And I just want to make something clear. I knew... Alright. Oh, I didn't know. Let me, let me say that differently. So, I said that I didn't know how to pronounce it, and so I didn't say it. And then tons of people were in the comments saying, Oh, it's easy to pronounce. It's just Saxony, you know? Um... <laughs> I can lie, I was trying to cover myself up because I just didn't know the name. And I was trying to cover it up by saying that I didn't know how to pronounce it. I didn't know how that made it any better. But yeah, I just want to say I didn't know the name of the country before. So it it wasn't that I couldn't pronounce it, it was just that I didn't know it. So thank you all for telling me that it was Saxony. And I said that I have a couple of things to say, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember. So, Sony informed me that the Italian campaign is going to be a bloodbath. And that is exactly what they said. I don't see how it'll be a bloodbath, but assuming how long it'll take me to get to Italy, they'll probably build up their forces. So, I, I don't know, we'll see. I kind of doubt it, but I kind of don't. <clears throat> oh, they took Brunswick? That was one of my, um... Yeah, that was my factory, wasn't it? Well, th thank you for clarifying that that now belongs to us. <laughs> you know, I saw a flag flying above it. Hell, I thought that still belonged to Rhine. Thank you for telling me. Uh, they still have Copenhagen. Let's actually send over this general. I want that city. And boom. Ooh, I got some uh, spare troops over here also. That wasn't a good move. Britain's probably going to take that. And I think that is it for this turn. Yes, it is. So let's take a look at my units. This is the main force right here, just four units. Two of them have generals, one of them is half damaged, one of them I expect to die pretty soon. Yeah. And this cannon right here, which doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's still worth having around. And yeah, this guy right here is just a meat shield. So that's my main force. I should definitely make more units. Because every time I play this game, I always make the mistake of just using the units that I start out with. Like, um... <clears throat> that happened in the United States Conquest, where I started out, I would not make any units. I just used the ones that I was already given. Which was a terrible move. See, I need to get out of that habit. It's just become a bad habit by now. So, let us make some units. There we are. Ooh, my militia survived. Sit him down here. Um, I'm sure I'll find some place to go, if he doesn't die. No, I need to upgrade that city. Oh, I have two cities. Alright, let's see if we can take out that city next time. Uh, next turn, I mean. Here we are. We're not getting... Uh, I was about to say that we're getting close to France, but no, we aren't. Um, yeah, I keep on thinking that France is more Eastern than it really is. Yeah, we're still a bit away from France. I mean... Paris. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bad move. Oh, never mind. I thought they would have taken out the cannon and they would have made another unit. But nope, we seem to be good. Except I just used all my money. Oh shit. I need to protect that city. Oh, who is this guy? Lands. Huh. <clears throat> I'm not scared that the French will take that city. I'm just scared that the French will deplete it, then take it over, and then my allies will take it. Yeah, see what I mean? They'll take out, like, this general right here, and then the Russians or the Saxony will move in to take the city after they take it. Yeah, I played this game way too long. I already know how to predict things. So, we need to take them out. That should do the trick. And there we are. Don't you just hate it when your allies just run through your country and like make territory inside of your country? It really bothers me. Look at that. It, that's just, oh god, that's disgusting. Oh well. Yes! There we are. We taking Copenhagen. Now we can center all of our Oh my god, I can't talk. Now we can center all of our attention on these three units. Well, this one's not exactly units, it's a fort, but still. Um, let's see. No, they don't have any ships. Yeah, so those are the only units that they have left. So, we could definitely take Denmark out pretty easily. Oh yeah, just a heads up, there probably won't be a video tomorrow because, um, well, those of you that have been with this channel for a while, I know that I have Raiders on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So yeah, just a heads up. Did you hear that rifle sound effect? What the hell? Did you hear that? It sounded like the sound effect played like... 6,000 times. Ooh. This game is um, starting to show its age a little bit. Um, they're going straight for Berlin. But I don't think they'll take it. There we are. We just have... Oh, that fort's gonna... It's gonna be a bitch getting to. Because the only way that you can get to it is by sea. Huh. That might, uh... Might require quite a few units. Sorry about that. See how far we've actually got? Ooh. We are getting very close to Switzerland and the Italian border. Huh. I guess we'll learn about the Italian uh, bloodbath, as they were saying, sooner than we thought. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think that it's about to happen. <gasps> nope! Nope! There we are. I was about to say, that cavalry will not be able to do another thing, and they'll take the city. The Russians will. But nope. Thankfully, I had a unit nearby. 
I hate losing city style wise. Really? I mean, I know they're both grenadiers, but this grenadier, this grenadier, Jesus Christ, I can't talk, is one rank lower and doesn't even have a general on it, and it still did just as much damage as my general unit. Oh, well. Well, yeah, look at that. They're all doing like 20 damage. But that one did 10. I think we'll go through one more turn and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, France is invading Great Britain. Let's uh, see if this will be a success or a failure. <clears throat> From what I can see, if France moves up their general units in addition to uh, that cannon and that cavalry. Uh, Great Britain will definitely lose a London if they do that. Yeah, if Napoleon gets over there, they're screwed. He can just sit right here and... Sh I know it's not the proper turn, but he can just sit there and show London. And he got a ton of cannons. Napoleon was a fan of artillery, so that makes sense. Oh, has like one health left. You see that? Let's go ahead and finish the job. There we are. Let's see if um I can take out Denmark before this episode ends. Let's go a couple more turns. I need a good title. That's what I'm trying to do. I, mean, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I'm being honest. I just need a title. There we are. Saxony is still taking my land, which makes me mad. But at least we got. Oh, we got Webzig? Webzig? Uh, go and bash me in the comments for that. There we are, starting to send units into Switzerland. I don't expect them to do anything. Like, I don't expect them to do anything at all. They're just there to serve as a meat shield to stop incoming units. Alright. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Look what it- Oh man. That's... That is not a pretty sight. Ooh, we can send units down into um, northern France. Huh. That might be a plan for next episode. You know, I haven't been paying attention, but how close are we to taking Rhine? Wait a minute. Ryan only has that one fort? Oh. Oh, I know we're going to title this video, and I think you know too. As soon as the cannon gets down there, they're screwed. Alright, once again, sorry for the sun skip. Alright. Oh yeah, that cannon's going to tear it apart. Damn, that's a good hit. And Rhine has been conquered by Prussia. Man, look at that. That is a... That would be a beautiful border if it weren't for fucking Saxony. Oh my god, I hate that so much. That would have been thumbnail worthy. That would have been thumbnail worthy. And Saxony just had to come in and say, Nope, we're going to take up a good chunk of your country right here for no reason. You know what? Let's get it back. Oldenburg, 
I don't even need, yeah, they don't need to be good. Let's just make some throwaway militia and take that land back, because it'll bother me if I don't. Now we're getting close to Paris. I almost said France again. Uh, this is gonna be bad. And there we are. Denmark and Rhine have been conquered. Now we can send units from Denmark into northern France. This will either fall apart or it will be a very good plan. We will see you next time. So thank you all for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah. Oh, actually I, I do want to say I'm sorry for all the stuttering and all that. Like I said before, I'm just... Not having a good day, bit the inside of my mouth. You already heard this. So yeah, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, now, goodbye.